somewhere where you're the only only individual of that type is really really takes a toll on you. I've been bullied countless times uh, over my 12 years that I spent in uh, K K12. Um, the, I guess it first started off in my third grade class, uh, where the teacher wouldn't actually join in with the students and make fun of me. Um, it all branched off of how I had something on my head and people would laugh and um, scuffle and they thought that I had a mouse in my head. Sometimes they said I had a ball or even a cone at times. Just a couple of years ago, I was I played recreational soccer, and um, there I was called instead. I was number nine for the for my team, and the opposing coaches they would um, they would um, instead of saying my name Neil or number nine, they would say guard the cone head, and um, that really upset me. You know, uh, any type of bullying is very demoralizing and demeaning, and it shouldn't happen. But these. These events that I experienced as a child were really traumatic, and I remember I used to cry. I didn't want to go to school. There are many forms of bullying. Um, there's cyberbullying. There's physical, mental, uh, verbal abuse, um, and all of these actually have a common uh, motive. And that's, in my opinion, to bring so, uh, bring the victim down, and so the bu bully can get popularity. I, I was the only Sikh in a body of 1640, six, 1,640 students, and um, being the only Sikh going around, you know, with a turban or with a parka in this case. Uh, it really made me stand out, and so I guess the people really didn't have the awareness, um, and that kind of led to uh, the name calling, the laughter, and whatnot. And um, any form of um, uh, derogatory comments, to ball, uh, like ball head or cone head, and many of the other Sikhs can relate to this as well, is I believe a direct attack on the Sikh religion, even though it's not as brutal as, say, like. Um, to be catastrophic, but I mean, it's just uh, an attack on the identity of the Sikh. I seriously do believe that, I mean, this kind of awareness, even if it lacks, there still shouldn't be these kind of derogatory uh, terms. They really hurt the human, you know? It's not their fault that they're not educated about my religion, um, but I do blame them for um, criticizing me without their proper knowledge, but I don't have a grudge against them. Um, what I would say to those bullies were, uh, would be, if, if I knew at that age, I would explain to them a little bit more about Sikhism, and I would definitely suggest to them to go on one of the Sikh sites, or just go on Google and just type in Sikh, just learn about who I am. I can't really build tolerance in those people other than just showing my face every day, in this case, but um, I mean, I could definitely educate them, educate them, and um, hopefully one day, in some fashion, it'll help another seek out somewhere. Maybe that guy, after he, after he learns about the religion, gets a little more um, comfortable with us, um, or me. He won't tease or taunt someone, some other seek, um, somewhere else in his future. So I can just hope for the best.